Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Mapseed. So uh, in this video I will uh, use this uh, free service uh, to generate a full stack web application powered by, by React using a Django API server. So um, uh, the, the service is free. I will uh, pick up this, uh, this design. Uh, for newcomers, the service allows to choose a design, choose a backend, generate the code, and later using another open source uh, tool, I will um, I will use this uh, uh, Python wrapper to to push the deployment on render deployment platform. So um, let's uh, let's uh, let's start. So the first step, uh, I will uh, select the Horizon UI. Which is a super super nice design provided by by Simple. It's um, uh, styled with Chakra UI, and uh, the UI looks super nice. In this step, uh, we can choose between Node.js, Django, and Flask. And uh, for this demonstration, I will um, uh, use Django. But feel free to, to select Node.js in case you um, uh, you want other other framework for the backend. And uh, once the um, uh, request is sent to the server. Uh, the server will uh, will provide uh, the sources. Uh, the zip archive is uh, is provided sooner, and uh, uh, the sources are also uploaded to, to GitHub for later reference. Um, the code is generated under the MIT license, which which means uh, you can use it in commercial projects or simply to for learning activities or hackathons. So uh, there is no limitation regarding the the licensing. Okay, until the application uh, uh, is generated, uh, we can um, play a little bit with the with the deployer. So basically, the deployer is um, it's a Python wrapper built on top of uh, Render API. Uh, the platform looks super nice, has a minimal user interface, and is fully featured. You can deploy APIs, uh, static websites, and uh, web services uh, written in Python, Ruby, and other dynamic languages. So feel free to take a look. Soon, this uh, workflow, which is which now is uh, incorporated in, in this CLI, will be incorporated in Napseed. And at the end of the um, uh, generation process, uh, users uh, should be able to click a button and go live with the product. Uh, so, if we call the deployer without any arguments, we'll see in the console all uh, available uh, options. Um, in order to uh, deploy the generated stack, we need to call this uh, subcommand full stack, and uh, the only argument required by the by the full stack uh, subcommand is to provide the repository uh, generated by by AppSeed. So we can see here in the in the page that the process was successful. Let's uh, access the um, uh, the source code. So we have here all the manual build instructions feel free to take a look but uh, for this demonstration i will just copy the um, the repository address and uh, uh, use it here in the, in the terminal uh, this deployer uh, requires a minimal configuration basically only the render api key and the owner id and uh, once you put into your into your environment these informations, you can uh, do the same thing with your with your own applications. Okay, so the the deployer was validating our our request, uh, extracts the information from the repository, detects that we have a Django and the React UI, and uh, push the services into the uh, render platform for deployment. So if we access here the, um, the dashboard, we can see that the services are under compilation and uh, we can check out the, uh, the status by clicking here on the deploy link. We should see the um, compilation logs. Okay. I think the Django server will be live 
sooner because it has um, less code and it's pretty simple. Uh, for the React, we we might wait a few minutes, but uh, in the end, both will be live. Okay, so the Django API is up and running. Another thing that is happening and is performed by the deployer is the um, configuration between the uh, API and the React frontend. Uh, the, the tool takes care of the environment uh, configuration, requires to, to have the link between uh, the user interface and the backend server. So you don't need to worry. The code is, is published on GitHub, so feel free to analyze the source code and if something is missing, uh, for the project and uh, update for your own needs or just tell us to, to provide um, an update. Okay. I will trigger a manual deploy just to force the compilation to to be completed. Okay. So in the meantime, we can go back to the to the generator. In the same way, we can uh, use other other kits like Berry, which is super super nice. It's based on Material UI. We can use also Datable, which is also super super nice. And also uh, the soft dashboard from Creative Team. It's it's an amazing product. We can check out the demo here. Um, in case anyone likes the design, just go to the generator page and build your own uh, your own full stack product. The service is free, and we want to keep it free. Um, you don't even need an account in order to use it. I'm not authenticated on AppSeed, so uh, of course, if you want to to make uh, to create a new account, it's 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 amazing. We have more than 5,000 registered users, but uh, uh, all our products, um, free or premium, are available for download and usage without uh, without an account. So we prefer to to have this uh, open source driven business that helps us in the past to to have a nice growth and uh, communicate faster with our users and uh, chat with many, many developers across the globe. So uh, if we go here to, to GitHub, we can see that uh, the generator was used a few minutes ago, two minutes ago to build a Flask application. Here was the uh, Horizon, again, Soft Dashboard React, black dashboard so many many users are um, are generating their stacks and products using this uh, this free generator so let's go back to the to our uh, to our project the react ui is still under uh, compilation but uh, soon should be up and running once the service is live, we have this green indicator that uh, informs us we can use the product. We've selected Render as a backend uh, deployment uh, platform because uh, they they have a, a decent pricing. Uh, in case you have services that are not running, you can suspend them and you are not billed. And also, they, you can connect them Postgres and Redis and other useful services, cron jobs. And uh, the support is also super, super nice. Uh, we chat with them on, on Twitter and also we send uh, exchange some emails to, in order to speed up the, this automatized deployment. And uh, they were super responsive and uh, really helpful to and provide all the necessary information to uh, build this uh, Python wrapper and provide it free for the open source uh, community. 
So uh, let's get back here. The application should be soon up and running. And uh, once the product is, is available, I will um, access the UI in the browser, create users, and, uh, and also play around with the UI. Here we have the runtime logs for the APA Django server. And uh, we can uh, double check the requests sent by the UI once the, the, the product is up and running. Okay, so one minute to go. Someone generates another another product. It's just amazing. So we just so we are on another repository, and one minute to go, another guy build the jungle with bear, which is super super cool. Uh, let's uh, get back here and uh, hope that uh, the React will be soon available. Upload being built. So, uh, Randall uh, informs us that the website is live. Let's check out this. I will use an incognito window. Yes, indeed, it's up and running and uh, at the same time let's uh, visualize the access logs of the Django API server just to test the authentication I will use an, an existing user uh, we should have message cool so the request is not uh, authorized let's create a user pretty cool if the registration is successful we are automatically redirected to the to the sign in page and uh, we can connect so guys the ui is amazing is is uh, developed by by simple looks super super nice we have nft marketplace dashboard a lot of components dark more ready and uh, also the authentication provided by Apsid. Um so the product looks super super nice what can i say thanks for watching let us know what you think in case anyone have issues access Apsid. go to the support page send us an email we have here the coordinates or just uh, join the discord and uh, chat with the um, support team one to one and uh, we are glad to help and uh, provide any information uh, to in order to help anyone with uh, their projects guys thanks for watching adrian here from mapsit and as always i wish you all a super super day bye